the quartile range allows us to study the spread of the data. It makes us focus on the middle 50% of the data around the, the median. Basically what we're doing is we're dividing our population up into 100% and discarding the top 25% and the bottom 25% and looking at the, at the range of data. So if we take the data we collected for bed load, we collected 20 stones, there's the longest axis, and we've got 20 different measurements for the bed load. Excel makes it very easy for us to calculate into quartile range. All we have to do is select on the lower quartile cell, press equals, and then go and find in more functions the quartile function. Type in quartile into search and go. There it is there, quartile. We quick click OK and then it'll ask us for an array of numbers. That's just the numbers of longest axis. The quart is the lower quartile, so we just want quart number one. Click OK, and that's calculated the lower quartile for us. The upper quartile, again, is equals. We don't need to search for the function now, because it's already there. Quartile, select the same array of data, the same spread of data. The quart now, we're looking for the 75th percentile or the third quartile. We click OK. The interquartile range just equals the biggest quartile, the upper quartile, minus the lowest. So we go equals B29, which is the upper quartile, and B30, which is the lower. That's calculated that for us as 63. So uh, within that middle 50% of data, there's a difference of 63 millimetres in the longest axis of the stones. If we compare that with another river downstairs, uh, downstream, that's 31. So that's a much smaller in interquartile range, so there's a much smaller range of data. We can see this on a dispersion graph. Site 1, 1, 2, 3, 4. The fifth result would be the lower quartile because we've got 20, uh, 20 sets of data. 20 divided by 4 is 5. So that comes out as 100. And then for your upper quartile, which would be 15 results, because that's 75% of your values. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That does come out as 163. And you can see that's quite a large spread of data. The nice thing that in the quartile range does is it, it removes these anomalies here and this one down at the bottom. So it's a more realistic spread of data once you've got rid of your anomalous results.